Get ready to turn heads with these exciting hair color trends for the woman over 50. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mimi and this is Simply Sophisticated Over 50. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. In today's video, we're talking about hair color trends for the woman over 50. There are so many gorgeous hair color choices for the woman over 50, for the mature woman. We have so many options today, and I'm excited to share with you some of the ones that are my favorites. Make sure you stick around to the end as I reveal the best hair color for 2024. First of all, if you have dark hair, the trend in 2024 for women over 50 would be either an ash blonde, or a caramel balayage. These colors are rich and vibrant, and they're very sophisticated. If you're a blonde, you have the option of either honey blonde or buttercream blonde. These are the richest, most gorgeous shades of blonde. And they're so complimentary for mature skin. Bronde, yes, you heard me correctly. Bronde is a mixture of brown and blonde, which gives you a good mix, especially if you have any grays. You can mix those in together and that will give you more of a natural look. For gray hair, vibrant silver. Vibrant silver has gained momentum. It is very popular. It's been around a few years and it's actually stayed. And so many women are embracing their gray by using the vibrant silver tones. This is a stunning hair color. It's classy, it's sophisticated. It's so complimentary. And then you have the option, of course, of highlights or lowlights or both. I recently got my hair colored. I went ahead and added lowlights as well as highlights. And what I love about this option is it covers grays. I do have quite a few grays around my face, around my hairline, and up on my roots. And now to reveal the best hair color for 2024. The best hair color for the mature woman for 2024 is the color that's going to complement you the best. The color that's going to complement your skin the best. There are quite a few popular shades this year, but if it's not going to complement your skin or your looks, or if you don't feel comfortable in it, then don't even venture out. Having said that, I also want to encourage you, if there's something you've been wanting to try, go ahead and go for it. You can always change your hair color or tone it down if you're not happy with the results. In order to find the best hair color for you, there are a few factors that you need to take into consideration. So how do you find the best hair color for you? First of all, you wanna look at a few things that you have that are unique from anyone else. Number one, eye color. If your eyes are green or blue, you might want to go with a shade that's more of a lighter color, maybe a blonde, maybe even highlights just around your face, framing your face. If you have dark eyes or dark brown eyes, you might want to go with a more caramel color or maybe low lights, maybe highlights with low lights, whatever's going to give you that rich, vibrant color. The second deciding factor is hair texture. The texture of your hair, whether it's fine or coarse, can affect how color deposits into your hair. If you have grays, for instance, gray hairs are coarse, they're straighter. Gray hair is not as porous, it doesn't hold color as quickly or easily, and there are certain shades that just won't even cover gray. So you might wanna check with your hair professional just to find out what's best for you if you do have gray. So consulting your hairstylist would definitely be beneficial. So we have eye color, we have hair texture, and then we have skin tone. If you have warmer tones, they say that it's best to go with a warmer color on your hair. And if you have cooler tones, then you wanna go with cooler shades or maybe more neutrals. But once again, 
You want to see what's going to complement your face and your skin tone. Ultimately, the best hair color for you is going to be one that not only complements your skin tone, but looks natural and something that you're comfortable with. You want a hair color that's going to complement your skin and that's going to make you feel more confident. To wrap things up, we've covered several different hair color trends for 2024 for the mature woman, the woman over 50, but ultimately it's up to you. Experimenting with different hairstyles and different hair colors can rejuvenate and empower you. So go ahead and embrace that change. And lastly, I want to hear from you. Share your favorite hair color trends in the comments below. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you next time.